Hi Pisces, welcome to your August 2022 monthly messages from Spirit Reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placements for the sign of Pisces. This will not resonate with every Pisces that watches this message, and because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Pisces, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Pisces. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Pisces and cross watchers that energy is fluid. And this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation best. So my intentions for this reading, Pisces, is to channel and provide messages from Spirit for you for the month of August, to ask what will be unfolding on August, in August, what you need to be aware of in August, and if something has already happened and you're trying to get clarity on it, then I hope I could give you that understanding through this reading. And this can impact any aspect of your life love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution, whatever spirit would like to talk about shall be brought forward. And if you have any beings of the light that you would like to welcome into this space, specific angels, ancestors, spirit guides, maybe even past down loved ones, you're welcome to ask them to join us here now. So let's go ahead and get this reading started. First, I'll be using my sound bowl to clear it and set the energy. So if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume's kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this started. All right, Pisces, so let's see what's happening for you guys in the month of August, or even so, what do you need to hear right now so you can have a better understanding of what's going on in your life at this time? Let's see, tell me about the month of August for my Piscean spirit. What will be Pis What will Pisces be experiencing? What is Pisces in the middle spirit about August? There we go. Wisdom. Number nine. Okay, Pisces. So there's a lot you're learning this month. There's a lot that you're taking in. There's a lot that you're growing through, Pisces. If there have been difficult situations that happened in the last couple of months, breakups, disappointments, what you perceived as failures, now is not the time to, you know, just stay down. If you got pushed down, if you felt like you got defeated in something, there's a lot to be gained out of what you experience now in August to do. I feel there's a deeper learning of yourself, of your experience and of your life. I feel that even for some of you Pisces, you're coming into, there's some sort of information that will be revealed to you about a situation you weren't clear on that you didn't understand and it's going to give you a better understanding of what happened in the past for some of my Pisceans. Um, in the past, what I mean by that, it it doesn't feel so long ago. It feels like literally, I feel maybe May to July, something that has just been confusing you, something that just has been, I don't know, something that some of you may have not have been getting closure on, a situation, an ending, someone leaving your life without a clue as to why, um, I don't know, something where you're just still kind of struggling to understand that experience. I feel that there is some information that's going to be coming to light, Pisces, that will help you give yourself that closure or help you move on from the situation. But with wisdom, it always gives me this energy of transformation, of ascension, of evolution, with the wisdom that you're gaining this month, Pisces, with whatever you're learning, whatever you're growing through, whatever you're evolving, 
due to some information you may discover or from just sitting with yourself and reflecting on your experiences, reflecting on everything that has worked in your favor and even stuff that has not worked in your favor. What have you gained out of this situation? Because even in the failures, there's something to gain. And failures, I, I do, I do kind of hate using that word, um, you know, because I, of course, there's some things we didn't succeed in. Of course, there's some ways that our plans didn't fold out the way we wanted it to. But sometimes those closed doors or those paths we were not allowed to go on due to circumstances that were outside of our control were really protection. So, you know, even though people use failures to describe the experience of what they didn't achieve, sometimes what they didn't achieve was a blessing in disguise. And maybe some of you are coming into that awareness as well as to why that didn't happen for you. There was something that you weren't aware of, the toxicity of it, the karma that was surrounding it, that spirit protected you from. But a lot of you, I really do feel you're discovering some information here. Or you're getting a message that will provide you with the clarity that you haven't understood in a certain circumstance. But this wisdom that is coming feels enlightening. It feels powerful. In a way, Pisces, that, I don't know, maybe there was a certain situation in the past that you blamed yourself for. And you're going to come to find out it was never your fault to begin with. Interesting. Let's dig deeper. Tell me more about August for Pisces. The sun. Yes, I love this Pisces. The sun is giving me Leo energy for sure. Some of you could have Leo in your chart. You could be dealing with the Leo. It does not have to be the case. I really do feel whatever has been in the darkness for you, Pisces, whatever has been clouded, whatever you haven't gone, gained clarity in is coming to light. And I feel what the information you're getting is going to make you very happy. It's going to make you feel joy. I don't know. Again, like for some of you, something's being exposed here, but the exposed feeling of it is not something that is going to detriment you, that is going to burden you in any way. It feels like now I know. Now I know why it didn't happen before. Now I know why it didn't unfold. For some of you, this has to do with your um, success in your career. So for some of you, your success in, I don't know, for some of you, you may do, it's not, may not even be your career, but maybe like a side project you've been working on and doing like something like writing a book or blogging or creating something that you want to call your own. Maybe some of you have started your own healing and wellness channels or Instagram accounts, and it, it's going to gain traction from it. For some of you, you're gaining popularity, you're getting people's attention. And for some of you too, like, I gotta say, you guys have been through something in your life that you are healing at a faster rate than most people ever could or would. And your story is something to be shared, Pisces. Your experience is something to be shared. And the way you deliver your experience, your story, you have an impact on people that inspires them that makes them want to heal the way you've healed, that makes them want to grow the way you have grown. I feel Pisces, you know, this is your time to shine in some way. And people are going to ask you, you know, how did you come out of this? How did you become so successful? You know, you're glowing. How, how did you make it through this? Or, you know, what did you do? And what you have to share with may even get you some money. Um, you know, if you ever do want to turn it into... A, a social media account or a book or a documentary or a video or whatever like that. I really do think some of you guys have that ability to gain the traction to success. Now, others of you, I kind of just feel like you're turning heads here. And even with the people who did reject you, the people who told you no, the people who discarded you or whatever it made you feel that you just had no idea why, You've risen above that situation, Pisces. You've risen, you've risen above that person. And I even feel like that person may stumble across your social media or see you somewhere in public or hear about you. 
and you've come out on top and you're turning their head, they're going to regret, you know, underestimating you. They're going to regret shoving you aside. And it's not that you have to glow in order to get your revenge or to to kind of show them I told you so, but it, it is a feeling where the tables have turned for some of you guys. And you're doing so much better than what they thought you were going to do or what you thought you were going to turn out to be. I don't know, for some of you guys, you really are coming into the limelight. You're coming into the spotlight. And I think that there's going to be something that you're gaining attraction and gaining attention in. So let's keep going. Some of you may start to like change your hair color or change your look in some way, your style. Um, I don't know. It's like a whole new you, Pisces. And now we have soul expansion. And this is Mahavatar Babaji. And what it says is your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. Yeah, Pisces, let's talk about this. So for some of you, this is a profound awakening. Maybe some of you have been experiencing like ascension symptoms. And of course, if you're experiencing any sort of medical uh, symptoms or side effects, please go see a medical doctor. I am by no means a medical expert. That aside, some of you may be experiencing headaches um, more so than you ever have. Like this is not something that would keep on occurring throughout your life. Or, you know, you start to feel um, a little bit anxious, I experience with my own awakenings. Because the anxiousness is the ego that's shedding the old self that wants to hold on to the pain, that wants to hold on to the, you know, the story that makes the ego feel like it could remain in a lower vibration out of security, out of whatever the ego likes to do and how it likes to operate. You guys get what I'm saying. But when we start to shed that, when we don't want to live that way anymore, we don't want to accept that. The anxiousness starts to come out because it's a whole new version. It's a whole new under, it's a whole new way we are living that the ego is afraid to start. So if you guys have been feeling a bit more anxious than usual, you've been having headaches. Um, another ascension symptom I kind of get is feeling very, very warm. Um, not fever warm, but you know, just a little bit warmer than usual. And those are all things that may be leading to the physical symptoms of what you're experiencing right now, Pisces, but your life is expanding. The old you that you used to live that was so concerned with why everything fell apart, why everything didn't happen, when is everything going to happen? I feel like spirit is either encouraging you or you already have started to take that step aside. And I think you're starting to see the bigger picture, Pisces, of who you want to be and who you want to become and what you want your story to be. Even if we did go through the worst that life has to give us, is that how we're going to be remembered? Or do we want to be remembered as being the survivors, being the ones that have overcome, being the ones that were successful against all odds? And I feel that's where you're expanding, Pisces. And this glow up, this ascension, this rising is eye-catching. That's where the sun is coming in, right? Not only are you changing within, but it's like almost changing you outside of yourself. And again, some of you may be going through a physical transformation as far as changing your hair color, changing your style up. Maybe even some of you are working on your physical fitness in some way, started to get into fitness. Um... But a lot of you, there's just some sort of spark, some sort of divine revelation or something that is going to reveal, be revealed. Like I said, someone's going to come clean about the situation you felt uncertain about, that you didn't know what happened. Um, that is going to be the trigger for this expansion. That's going to be the catalyst for this soul expansion. And once you change within, everything will change without. Know that, Pisces. And I think you're going to start to see the change that happens outside of your life when you have done that inner work to progress, to evolve, despite what you have been through or despite even what someone wasn't courageous enough to tell you before, right? 
You're finding the answers for yourself. You don't, I feel a lot of you are gaining more independence within yourself. And not that you weren't independent before this, but it's like, I don't need their answer. If they decide to do that to me, I know that I'm a good person. I know I'm a loving person. I know I do the best I can. And that may be something that they just couldn't accept for themselves, but that has nothing to do with my self-worth. But some of you, yeah, even through your creative expression, I'm just looking at this card, a lot of blue here, a lot of creative expression, throat chakra energies that are being activated that is going to get you attention, that's going to get you noticed. Whether that is on a global scale, a social media scale, or even just with the direct people around you, they're going to notice this change. They're going to notice this shift. And you look very graceful doing it, Pisces, I got to say. So let's pull some tarot. Tell me about August for Pisces spirit. Nine, and right after this, the hermit with the number nine. So some of your birthdays could be March 9th, March 19th, maybe your leap year baby, February 29th for some of you guys. But it says Epiphany, Archangel Raziel, joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others, answers that come through meditation. So some of you may be starting to get back into the flow of meditating. Um, I know I used to meditate so much, but Again, I just got married and I had my birthday and then I had COVID and all that. And I've kind of been putting it aside. But now that I'm starting to take more consideration into meditating and taking that time to myself, especially when I start to feel ungrounded, especially when I start to feel uncertain, I've started to discover more truths within me. Really, you're starting to activate those light codes when you take the time to meditate, when you take the time to reflect. And Pisces, I got to say, if your suspicions about something, you know, you, you wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt or you didn't want to assume, I, I and usually assuming isn't the best course of action, don't get me wrong, but there's something you sensed about a situation that is absolutely correct and you couldn't prove it, you couldn't show it, but your gut feeling, what you felt inside about it was absolutely right. And even if they weren't brave enough to tell you before, they're going, it's going to be exposed in some way. And whether that's through them, whether that's through, you know, seeing something on social media about it or having someone else tell you this information, Pisces. But it doesn't even matter. And I feel that's what a lot of you are also discovering as well. And the taking your time to get to know yourself better, to connect with yourself more so is leading to this soul expansion. And again, there's some sort of aha moment you're going to experience maybe in the beginning of the month, Pisces. Maybe you've already have had this aha moment of understanding yourself, understanding your life, or understanding what it is you still want to pursue in life that is being the catalyst to getting the ball rolling into getting where it is you want to go. Let's keep going. Tell me more. Queen of Michael, nice. So this is Libra energy, and it says, brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, and humorous. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. Wow, so yeah, Pisces, I feel for a lot of you, especially this being under the sun, there is some sort of career advancement. I feel there is something that maybe some of you guys are gonna be put in a position to call the shots, to start managing, to start being in charge of. Maybe for some of you, you know, this is something to do with your own business, right? To expand it. Um, I do feel if some of you want to post like, I don't know, something humorous or like some sort of TikTok or some sort of um, reels that is coming out of like some sort of trend or some sort of um, humorous type of thing, I, I do think people, it's going to catch on. But Pisces too, like what used to affect you so, so much, what used to burden you, what used to anchor you, what used to haunt you, in August, it's fading away. It's not a part of you anymore. You're cutting that out. It's not 
welcome in your mental library anymore. And that's, you know, it could be something you carried on to yourself. It could have been something that someone projected onto you. It's something that someone wasn't, again, courageous enough to meet you halfway and tell you the truth about the situation. But you're overcoming that. And with the Queen of Swords here, you are very strong and you're very intelligent and you are wiser for everything you experience. And I think too that people are intimidated a little bit by you, Pisces. But once they get to know you, they know you're a loving, glowing, happy person. But maybe for some of you with the Queen of Michael, um, through whatever you're discovering, whatever you're realizing, whatever is coming to the light in the beginning of the month or near the beginning of the month, you're starting to make these decisions that are going to, it comes down to this. Is this going to help me thrive? Is this going to help me glow? Is this going to help me rise? Or is this keeping me down? And keeping or cutting out what's keeping you down is what is going to lead you to this happiness and this success. Tell me more. Perspective, the hanged man, Pisces energy. And it says, Archangel Chamuel, there's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight. Dare to be different. So at the end of the month, Pisces, there may be something that you're going to have to decide how you want to pursue a certain goal you have, how you want to continue this growth, how you want to continue this expansion. And I feel that there's something that is completely changing your mind about what you thought you may have once wanted in your life, what you thought was important. There's something that is, again, either the success of what you're doing out of wanting to expand your career or your success, or there's something different that you're doing that's leading to this sun energy of enlightenment you're going to find a better way. And where you were before August and where you end up in August is going to be a completely different person in a very positive way, in a very strong way, fortuitous way. And I think, Pisces, you're not going to see life the same after this. You're not going to experience life the same after this. And what's really ringing out to me is dare to be different. Pisces, you are a unique soul. You are a free spirit. And there's some people who may not understand you, who may not get you, who question you all the time or question your motives and question if you're making the right choices or whatever it is, judge you even for some of you. Don't hang on to their judgments. Don't hang on to their concerns. You are meant to be different in this world. You're meant to experience a life that is exciting, that is unique, that is not something that most people are selected to experience. You're deeply profound in your spiritual insights and you see the world through different eyes than what most people can see. You're a very elevated Pisces. And elevated Pisces, that's damn near to high realms of mystic gypsy goddess shaman energy god energy that a lot of people don't come close to touching and where you're at the end of this pisces you're better understanding what it is that you're meant to do in this life what it is that you're meant to be in this life and no one else can dictate that bottom of the deck the empress love this taurus energy libra energy with archangel gabriel here Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is a rewarded, luxurious, or abundant resources. I feel this is your harvest in Virgo season, September. This is what's coming out of this new awakening, this new understanding, this new perspective that you are deepening, Pisces. And this is what is going to come out of it is your harvest through this elevation, through this expansion, through this better understanding of your life and who you are. This is a very, very spiritual reading here. 
And I feel for some of you who have been in this transition of this expansion, of this growth, you know, it, it's difficult at first, but the reward is so worth it at the end. And I, I feel like a lot of you are doing a 180 in a, in a positive way, in a growing way. And you'll not be the same after this month. Wow. All right, Pisces. Let's go ahead and get one more card. And this will serve as like a last message from spirit. Anything, any affirmations you can tell yourself throughout this month as you start the glow up. It really does feel like a glow up internally, outwardly. You know, I'm hearing the saying as above, so below. And I feel that's exactly what you're experiencing now, Pisces. Anything else that Pisces needs to know about this month's spirit? I'm hearing once you change your mind, you change everything. Wow, beautiful. Okay. I am loved. Oh, Virgo got this card. So if you have Virgo in your chart, again, check out the Virgo reading to see if there's messages for you there. Let's go ahead and affirm this for my Pisceans. I am dearly loved and surrounded by love. I mean something to others and I exist for a reason. My relationships are a correct and appropriate part of God's plan. So Pisces, your spirit team has been watching over you, has been so proud of you for what you've accomplished, for what you've healed, from what you've expanded beyond that most people couldn't do. And I feel too, Pisces, again, there may have had to have been a filtering of relationships, but you've kept around now that you have or you're going to make the cut in some people that have not, you know, been honest with you or you felt like there's still some unanswered questions, if they haven't come forward and speak spoken up now or by the end of the month, I think that's fair to say that you've learned all you could from the relationship and you can let it go. But I feel, Pisces, there are people who are in awe of you. There are people who dearly love you and you can go to those people with the certainty that with the right people around me, I'll always be taken care of, but I can also take care of myself. It's the relationship you also have with yourself that spirit is making prominent to me as I feel intuitively with that card. And also, too, for those of my um, Pisces who may become, you know, social leaders, um, healers that go beyond just your direct environment and go to the internet or go beyond, right? You are going to form a community of people who devout themselves to you, who want to see your messages, who wait on you to post or to, you know, send out your work to the world because your work is really going to heal some people who've been going through the same thing as you have, but just don't know how to get out of it. What an amazing reading, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me here for this reading in August. I hope it's giving you an understanding of August or what you may be going through currently. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Pisces, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Pisces.